Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie and Camille back with another story time. Before I get into today's story, as always, I want to welcome you to my channel. If it's your first time, a special, special welcome to you. I hope you'll enjoy my content. And if you are a returning viewer, you don't know, big up yourself, welcome back. My class and I were at the last resort. Now, the name alone was the first red flag because there, it was not a resort. There was no electricity, no Wi-Fi because there is no electricity. When I tell you basic amenities, like we slept in a building that had the outlines for the windows but there were no windows. There were bunk beds that were constructed and not finished. From my memory, we stayed one night, but that one night was enough for me to say, you know, as much as I love environmental preservation, being out in the wild, collecting data, just having a different experience from being in the town, this living condition is not gonna work for me. Anyway, now this particular field trip we were studying bats. Bats are cool, you know, the cool version of bats, you know, it comes in the form of Batman. But generally, depending on where you are, your culture may dictate that a bat represents somebody's dopey or their ghost. You know, bats are associated with Halloween. So there are varying associations with the bats. You know, let me sidestep from the bat part a little bit. I cannot understand how for a man who smoked so heavily, how he was ahead of us in the forest. We are like in our 20s, right? Our lungs are supposed to be at maximum capacity. And he is trodding through the bush like, you know, he's on flat ground. I mean, we're scampering over rocks and hanging on tree roots and pulling up ourselves and putting equipment down first, I mean, and he's just going like, he's not Natal and we're dying behind him and he's, anywho, Dr. Vogel, one of the best lecturers I've had. If you watch Batman, and I'm sure if I find it, I will definitely insert the clip, right? But you see in the movies and in cartoons where you have the entrance of a bat cave and the bats rush out and it's like you can't see anything else, it actually occurs that exact same way. It's like we stood up in front of the cave. I'm sure at one point I may have stretched my arms out just because. And the bats just flew past. Like you could feel the created breeze when they passed. It was awesome and none of them touched us. You know, my lecturer would pick up a bat and he would be holding the bat and looking and say, Oh, this is genus and species name. I can't remember any of those. And he would say, notice the shape of the wing or the shape of the nose or whatever other features, right? So we're totally fascinated by this. And of course, now he's passing bats to each of us for us to hold and look at the bats. So I got a bat and, you know, the bat is wiggling because of course I wasn't holding it firmly enough to begin with. So I kind of tightened my grip on the bat and was looking on it. You know, identifying that it was a male, turning over, looking at the, you know, the hairs on the body and all of that. When it came time for me to release the bat, <laughs> I should love. Bear in mind that my lecturer, my other two classmates, they would have been holding bats too. They would have been looking at the bats and then releasing the bats and the bats fly off, right? But me... After holding my bat for not very long, I don't think I had the bat in my hand for more than three minutes. When I released my bat, it did not fly. A matter of fact, my bat did this. Because I killed it. I killed the bat. And I remember one of my classmates was laughing at me and he's like, Oh my God, come on, there are thousands of bats here. It's not as though, you know he wouldn't have been caught in the circle of life eventually and i was like wow well, if you look at it that way but i really did feel so bad about killing the bat but honestly when i thought about it it was more fair because i did not want that bat 
at one point he was doing a little chomping motion you know i did not want him to then spin around in my hand and then bite at the gloves i mean we had on heavy duty gloves yeah but i was not about being bitten because you know rabies so yeah i held the back just a little bit too tightly and i heard a squeak at one point but i didn't think that it was because the bat was taking its last breath so i i i i killed the bat that was another experience in the bush stay tuned for more <laughs> there are so many bush stories i can't believe i forgot about these events but i'll share them with y'all until i see you again next week guys take care be safe continue to love yourselves toodles